In this video, we're going to have a look at similarity, in particular, what happens to areas when shapes are similar. Okay, so here on the screen, we have got this rectangle here. The lengths of the rectangle are 4 by 3. Okay, so if we have a look at this rectangle up here, we can see that all the angles are going to be the same as the angles here. They're all going to be right angles. Let's see the length of this. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'll do that in green. This length is 8. And this length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This length is 6. So hopefully you can see that from here to here, we have enlarged by a scale factor of 2, because 4 times 2 is 8, 3 times 2 is 6. These shapes are mathematically similar. But let's think about the area. Let's think about what's happening inside each of these rectangles. Remember, the area is the amount of space within an object. So this rectangle here, the area is 4 times 3. So the area of this shape is 12. I'll just put centimetres squared. I know it's not centimetres, but we'll just put 12 centimetres squared. So we would expect our new area to be 12 times 2, which is 24 centimetres squared. But if we count this all out, we've got much more than 24 centimetres squared. We've actually got 8 times 6. We've actually got 48 centimetres squared. Okay, and there is a relationship here. We'll look at this. Um, rectangle at the bottom, then we'll try and draw it out. Okay, have a look at the rectangle at the bottom. Uh, we've got the length being 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so the length is 12 and the breadth I think is 8. No, I think it's 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so hopefully you can see that from here to here, we've enlarged by a scale factor of 3. So we would expect the area of this to be 3 times bigger. But we can see it's much bigger, it's much bigger than 36 centimetres squared. The area inside this is actually 12 nines, what's that, 108 centimetres squared. Okay, so what is the relationship between the areas and the scale factor. So if I highlight this area here, and if we link to this area here, so we enlarged by a scale factor of two, but do you see that the area is in fact four times bigger. And see, instead of writing four, I can say it's two squared times bigger. Two squared is four. And if we compare the area here and here, I, how did we get from here to here? Well, 108 is nine times bigger. But instead of saying 9 times bigger, we can say that it is 3 squared times bigger. Essentially what we find here is that when shapes are mathematically similar, if we enlarge or reduce them by a scale factor, the area scale factor is found by squaring the scale factor. So we find our scale factor, i.e. here it was 3, but to find the corresponding area, we would have to multiply are 12 by 3 squared. Uh, in this example, the scale factor was 2. So to find the corresponding area, we needed to multiply by 2 squared. OK. So our general strategy for area scale factor questions uh, when shapes are mathematically similar is step 1, we find out the scale factor is normal. Step two, to find the area scale factor, we square the scale factor. 
Then step three, we multiply by the area scale factor to find our unknown area. We've got two examples to have a look at. Okay, example one. Below are two similar parallelograms. So we are told these are similar. We should then be thinking of similarity and thinking of scale factor. The area of parallelogram A is 28 centimetres squared. Work out the area of parallel, parallelogram B. Okay, so we want to work out the area of B. We're expecting it to be bigger than 28 because B is bigger. So step one, what we do is we, uh, I'll just put a wee question mark here. This is what we want to work out. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to state what our scale factor is. And remember to work out our scale factor, we take the new and we divide it by the old. The new is the shape that we work towards. So see how we want to work out the area of this shape, this one here. So my scale factor is going to be six over four, not four over six. Okay, because six over four would correspond to an enlargement. Okay, uh, 6 over 4 is the same as 3 over 2. On a calculator, you should find that that is 1.5. Essentially, to get from here to here, we've multiplied by 1.5. But we want to find the area of the parallelogram. So far, we've got the scale factor. What we now need to do is we need to find the area scale factor, ASF. And what we do is we take our scale factor, and we square it. Okay, 1.5 squared is 2.25. Okay, so therefore, if this shape in here, if I do this in green, if this has area of 28, to work out the area of this, I will need to multiply by 2.25 because that is my area scale factor. Okay, so we'll just say area of B is going to be 28 multiplied by my area scale factor. And 28 multiplied by 2.25 is 63. So that's going to be 63 centimeters squared. Okay, find your scale factor. For the area scale factor, you need to square that and then you'll need to multiply as appropriate. Okay, one final example. Shown below are two mathematically similar shapes. Straight away, you see that phrase, you think, ah, scale factor. So I'm not even going to look at the question. I'm just going to write down scale factor. And I know that to work out the scale factor, we do new divided by old. Okay, so let's have a look. The area of shape B is 150 centimetres squared. So the area of this one is 150 centimetres squared. We want to work out the area of the small one. So hopefully you'll see that the area is going to be smaller. Uh, right. Okay, so we want to work out the area of this one. So this is the new shape. So I'm going to take the corresponding sides, 3 and 15. So my scale factor is going to be 3 fifteenths, which is a fifth, which is 0 0.2. 0 0.2. So to get from here to here, I have multiplied by 0 0.2, okay? But we want to work out the area of the smaller shape. So the area scale factor is I take my scale factor and I square it, 0 0.2 squared, which we should find is 0 0.04. 
Okay, so therefore, to work out the area of A, we're going to take the area of B and multiply it by my area scale factor. When we get that, we should find that the area of A is 6 centimetres squared. Okay, find your scale factor. Find your area scale factor and then multiply as appropriate. Thanks very much.